Hey friends, welcome back to the show. Today we are starting a brand new playlist started Slow Cooker Sunday. And on the grill today we have a one and a half pound ribeye roast, which is going to be going in the slow cooker. And then I'm going to show you how to make some really, really good barbecue sauce. Ah, into the slow cooker. With our ribeye roast, one and a half pounds. We're going to add a half a cup of water with that. And a couple little seasonings. And we're going to set this for about three hours. A little bit of Cajun seasoning, not much, just to add a little bit of flavor. Cracked, fresh cracked black pepper, just enough for a little seasoning. Close that lid, and I'm going to set it for three hours. Well, now that we got that pork sitting in the slow cooker for another three hours, it's time for me to show you how to make up some delicious tangy Memphis style barbecue sauce. Our primary seasonings for this barbecue sauce is going to be onion powder, freshly cracked black pepper, a touch of cayenne pepper, a touch of salt, Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of white vinegar, ketchup, mustard, and brown sugar. We're going to start the sauce with a medium sized saucepan and we're going to add our wet ingredients first. First thing we're going to put in is a half a cup of white vinegar. Next, we're going to add a full cup of ketchup. Next, a quarter cup of brown sugar. Mm-hmm. Now comes the goodies. Next, two tablespoons of yellow mustard. We're not going to do the tablespoons. We're going to kind of eyeball this just a little bit. That looks about right, right there. Next, we're going to add two full tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. yummy. One tablespoon of onion powder. One half tablespoon of freshly cracked black pepper. I kind of eyeball this one a little bit too. Nice and easy with this one. We want a half of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Those are two quarters teaspoons to make a complete one half teaspoon. Last but not least, a quarter teaspoon, not a tablespoon, a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. All right, now we're gonna take, we're gonna nice and easy, whisk all of our ingredients together. Everybody's swimming together in the same pool. Next, we're gonna take our sauce and put it on the stove and let it come up to a simmer on a medium to low heat while stirring. Okay, at this time we are ready to pull the sauce off of the heat set it over to the side for about 10 minutes and then we'll bottle this stuff up and put it in the fridge for later. Oh yeah, have a look at that. Nice tangy Memphis style barbecue sauce. Into the refrigerator with it. All right, so we've got our homemade barbecue sauce. To be specific, tangy Memphis style. You saw the ingredients that I put in there and all that other good stuff. Nothing really fancy. I suppose you could add a little more color to that sauce if you added a little molasses. But that's not what the recipe calls for. And we got three hours of waiting on that meat over there. So I'll catch up to you in a bit and then we'll have a taste test. Let's take a quick peek at that ribeye roast. Ooh, yeah, baby. Oh, the smell is amazing. All right, so I couldn't wait any longer. I had take some of that pork out of the slow cooker and bring it over here so we can try out that zesty Memphis style homemade barbecue sauce. Let's give it a shot. Nice and chilled. Ooh, look at the color in that. Oh boy. Let's open this thing up and see what we got. 
Man, this stuff smells so good. Let's throw just a little bit of this hot sauce, or excuse me, barbecue sauce, down here on our pork and give it a try. Mm. Wow, that's good. Well, here goes nothing. Ooh. Wow. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm. Oh. Ooh, that sauce. Got a great tang to it. And that little tiny bit of cayenne pepper that we put in there hits me right there. It's not hot like you would think it is. It's just that got that tangy spice to it. Almost reminds me a little bit of Arby sauce. And I love Arby sauce. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I wish you were here. Mmm. <laughs> oh. So good. Mmm. Last piece. Oh, I'm ready to eat a whole sandwich now. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that pork is delicious. Oh. That sauce, it just takes it to a whole nother level. <laughs> mm. Oof, one more taste of this sauce. Oh, that is so good. It's got that sweetness from the brown sugar in there. A little bit of heat from that cayenne. The tanginess of the mustard ketchup and vinegar and stuff. <sighs> wow, you guys don't know what you're missing out. Go back and watch the video and see how I made this. And if you decide to make it, let me know. Oh, it is that good. Man, I got to put this stuff away. I will tear this stuff up. I won't have anything left. My sandwiches later. Oh, so good. Oh, yes, sir. Tangy Memphis barbecue sauce. Homemade. Absolutely delightful. That's going to do it for this episode of Slow Cooker Sunday. Man, that tangy Memphis barbecue sauce, homemade. You saw how I made it. Man, that pork is so good, too. I can't wait to make sandwiches with it later. Got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Appreciate all you viewers and all your time. Till next time, I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.